If I could design my own heaven, I'll tell you just how it would be. I'm out at the lake at the cabin, on the porch, my grandpa and me. He smells of his pipe and old leather, his rough beard rubbing my cheek. His arms wrapped tightly around me, no more joy could I see. And the days are filled with soft sunshine, the call of the loon fills the air. All of these beautiful memories still follow me everywhere. My family is gathered around me, Aunt Mary is cooking a stew. Mama is doing the dishes while Grandpa does what Grandpas do. Sometimes he'll tell me a story while I sit on his lap. Sometimes we'll ride in his rowboat until it's time for my nap. The days are filled with soft sunshine, the call of the loon fills the air. All of these beautiful memories will follow me everywhere. soft sunshine and the call of the loon fills the air all of these beautiful memories I take with me everywhere so if I could design my own heaven now you know just how it would be I'm out at the lake at the cabin on the porch, my grandpa and me. Yeah, that's my my uh, my racing stroke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it goes a little bit like this. When Saga Jiwegabu Week was just fifteen years old. She and another were kidnapped by six Eskimos so bold. The other girl did not want to go to a far off northern land. And so she fell upon her knife and died by her own hand. Saka Jiwegabu, we did what she was told. And so because she chose to live, her story can be told. Now they took her far away up to Hudson Bay, then sold her to an older man to be a wife and slave. For three long years or so, she had to toil away, 
And she bore two children for that man on Hudson Bay. Her dreams of home and family are just a memory. Longing for a better time, a time when she is free. Then one day young friends she may gave her a boat. Her hopes and dreams had come alive, now she had some hope. She took her two young children and then she stole away. She paddled off as far away as she could from Hudson Bay. She hid the boat in the brush that began an awful trek. Hiding from all she saw, not wanting to go back. She's lost and doesn't know which way she must go. Her young friends came in a dream and told her how to know. Whichever way you're facing when you wake up each day, that's the way to travel and you'll find your way. Through that spring and summer and on into late fall, she struggled through that wilderness till she had no strength at all. Saga Jiwe Gabu, we collapsed on a river shore. Weakened by starvation, she could walk no more. Then a man came paddling by, it was a relative. Her hopes and prayers were answered, she had a chance to live. The children were not strong enough, and their health did fail. But Saga Jiwe Gabu, we lived to tell this tale.